Hello and welcome to LibTech Tools. I'm Rachel Hendrick, the editor and publisher of Choice. And I'm here with Gary Price, the editor of InfoDocket and ARL Day in Review. Today we're talking about Single File, a browser add-on that allows users to archive web pages to their personal computer. So if you liked our video on web archiving through the Internet Archive, this tool is for you. But Gary, I have a question. Why would you want to save web pages to computer rather than uh, like to your personal computer rather than archiving them through the Wayback machine? Well, hello. And personally, I think both options are very important. And you probably in a best case scenario want to do both. One, the Wayback machine, you're not only doing it for yourself, but you're doing it for the community at whole. You're doing it for the world, really. The more variations of a page, the more versions, if you like, of a page, the better and makes for a much more robust and complete archive. Doing it this way with something like single file. And remember, Rachel, there are many different tools that you can use to do what we're about to talk about. One of the major reasons that I like this one is opposed to saving different components of the part of, of, excuse me, different components of the page and then having the page built that way. This saves it just as one solid HTML file. With single file, you also have the option to, uh, annotate the page if you want to share it with somebody else. Also, going why you would want to do it one way versus the other, sure, you could save everything you see on your computer, but what happens if your hard drive crashes? Having things in multiple places and knowing about multiple tools to kind of do variations on the same job, I think is just part of what being an information professional is today the right tool at the right time for the right uh, for the right need. So that's why I also like single file along with archiving things in the Wayback Machine. Do I archive everything I see in both sources from with both tools every day? No, I use, I archive a lot of what I see in the Wayback Machine. It, I have one, it's a one single click and I'm done as we talked about in the other video. I use this, especially if I want to annotate and share with others, perhaps via an email attachment, a specific page. This is a free add-on tool, and this is the page that we'll uh, share with the video that has all the links you need and a, a demo video. It's available for all the major browsers, so for Firefox, Chrome, and so forth. And as I said, it's a, it's a free tool, and it's very, very simple to use. So here's a web page of a website I've heard of called Choice, choice360.org. And let, and, and this is that one. <laughs> yes, you've heard of this? Good. Yeah, I've heard of it. <laughs> so with Choice, with this particular page, here, here is how easy it is once you've installed um, single file. Find the page, right? We're on it. Click, go to the add-on, single save page with single file. Now it will save the page onto my hard drive with, and obviously there will be a timestamp that I saved it at it, as we're recording 942 on August 30th. Mm -hmm. I also have the option, which I'll click now, to not only to annotate the page, see if this works correctly. So it's working down here in the lower left-hand corner. Um, I have the images turned off. It's done all of that. And now, as you can see right here, I have, um, I have made a local copy and now I can go up here to my toolbar and start annotating it, highlighting it, that kind of thing. And now it's saved on my hard drive with the annotations. So let's go back to, an, let's do another example here. Let's go to another um, page. Here's the page for homepage for LibTech Insights. You've we also heard that of that, page. Rachel? We love that page. <laughs> so now again, just go to single file. And by the way, if say you're working in an entire you're working with a group of URLs, a group of pages, you can save all of your tabs at the same time and make local copies of all of those by just clicking on save all tabs. You can save selected tabs, save a specific selection. You can also have it set up that everything that comes in your browser is archived locally without you having to do anything else. So as you browse throughout the day, you're making local copies of everything you see at that given moment. So it's a way kind of to build up multiple copies of a, 
it really is to save everything as you're browsing through an entire session. You have got actual copies of those pages on your hard drive. And again, this is one of many tools that does local web that does local web page archiving. It's one that I like. There are others, but this one is, e as you can see, Rachel, is simple, easy, and free. You yeah. can also have this option where you can just punch in a bunch of URLs and it will save all the, you know, you punch in the list, it will save all, you walk away and it will archive all of those and have all of those on your hard drive as well. So again, it's called, the browser add-on is called single file, right click once you've installed it, save page locally, annotate and then save the page, save a selection, auto save everything that comes in your browser, bat saves, bat, batch save, bat saves, batch save URLs by just pasting them in and walking away and having it all done. And it's a completely free add-on. So Gary, I don't know if you're like me and get involved in internet holes where you start researching something and, and it starts on Wikipedia and then you end up in the open web and you're all over the place. And um, when I'm when I'm doing that, I often sort of open a Word document and I put URLs in and that kind of thing. So I remember, oh, I need to go back to this, but this is so much more useful that I can do a research, an open web research session and save the actual pages so I can go back to them and really look right, at and them I, and say. And, I, I, and I, I agree. And I think also as you're doing that research, if you're annotating the page with your reactions or comments to it, yeah, it's also very useful, especially when you try to go back and find what you're looking for. But yeah. again, you know, we, we could probably have a weekly series for many weeks of web archiving tools. So we've now done the Wayback Machine, we've done single file, and hopefully in the future we'll do others. Mm -hmm. Right tool at the right time for the right user and the right information and the right need. Yeah. Well, this is great. I'm gonna go go on an internet hold today and see what I can find uh, and save my pages along the way. Thank you so much, Gary. Thanks, Rach. Mm -hmm.